Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you Collector Rush Kindred. It's really gosh darn strong and it has some high win rates. Rushing down Collector into Kraken or into Gale Force or even Shield Bow all have reasonably high around 58 to 65% win rates. So we're gonna be going Collector Rush. If Volibear gets fed, we'll go Kraken. Otherwise, I'll probably just go Shield Bow or for Gale Force. But yeah, if Volibear is fed, I think I'm gonna need the Kraken to kill him. We're up against a Pantheon, so I'm going to run a tighter route. I'll probably just do red golems into blue buff for fast level three. Golems are pretty easy to do on ranged champions in general, whether you're Draven or Tristan or Teemo jungle. They just, they can't get past each other. They can't get out of their own way. It used to be even easier to do it. But then they kind of change them a little bit. Like, you can still do it though. Like that. The big one didn't touch me a single time. Get these dirty paws off me. Bot lane is semi gankable. You typically don't want to gank on Kindred to level 3 though. Level 3 is when things get a lot more exciting. Have I made a top Jax? Nah, I haven't made a top Jax. I prefer certain champions in the jungle compared to their traditional role. I've been seeing a lot more Pantheons lately. His win rate's going up quite high. We have our mark on him. Generally, you do want to mark the jungler so you don't give away your first gank. Plus, you're likely to run into the enemy jungler. Do blue buff into Gromp. And we've been full HP this whole time. Like for the most part, like right now we're bleeding a little bit more than I would like, but when you consider how high HP we've been, that means it's going to be hard for someone to just come kill us in an invade, whether it's a Kha'Zix or a Pantheon. We're going to smite that. Feels bad, Yon. Yon got shredded. We can go gank Bully Bear. It looks like Pantheon's playing off a of bot scuttle. God damn, this bully bear. Right, I'm gonna mark him. Let's make sure you have some time gap. I'm not inside of his little thing. He can't kill me like that. He's got a lot of burst. I guess he wants to shove it. Bully bear's gonna come back as the thing with his TP. I'm gonna dash away. I'm gonna get that scuttle crab. Ooh, what's going on down there? I might have to go bot. The lanes are spiraling really quick. If the lanes are spiraling fast, you have to make judgment calls whether you're gonna just keep farming or gank. If I was over there right now, I'd hit it. I'd go kill Twitch and then get the gin since I'm such high HP. Pantheon didn't see me with that. And he gets the scuttle. Are you kidding me? He got, dude, he got the scuttle, bro. It was one hit. That is brutal. Damn, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Still in it though, we didn't die. I think we do need to go into focus mode though. When in doubt, you gotta just focus. Best 80 and AP to carry with and climb. Just depends. Silver elo. I would probably do something like Hecarim Kane with an Echo jungle or an Evelyn. Generally, lower elo should stay away from Elise and Talia unless you're really passionate about those champs. We're gonna go ahead and reset after this. If you are going for the collector build, you generally want it back on 1100 gold so you can pick up your... Where is it? So you can pick up Serrated Dirk. I'll also grab some boost. I'll pick up a control ward as well. We're going to be focusing on our easiest gank. It's Vooly Bear. He's shoved up. Mid's not gankable. Fizz is under turret full HP. Thought lane. Kind of gankable, but I think the enemies have some deep wards. 
Volley Bear is pulling a Hashin Shin. He's going all in. No backup plan. Gotta abuse that. With every failed gank, you fall behind in level and in gold, so. Gotta take the good ganks. You truly are the king. Great teacher and not toxic. Stay king, man. Hey, thank you for the kind words. Nice, got him. <laughs> I think I killed myself almost there. I took an extra turret shot by accident. Just dab. Thank you for the prime, man. Thank you for the two months and thank you for the kind words. Alright. Pantheon's bot side. I don't have to worry about dying. I'm gonna go grab the uh, Gromp. I can get full HP off of that. I don't want to go to my red buff. Pantheon knows I'm low on HP, so it's kind of risky. Logic TFT. Thank you for the prime, dude. Welcome to the stream. Since Pantheon's going to think we're low on HP, me going to my red buff, I'm probably just going to die. His blue buff just came up. So 50-50 he's on my red or his blue right now. So this is much safer for me to be in his jungle. If you're paying attention as a jungler, a lot of the times your safest move is not even being in your own jungle. So that's what we're going to be taking advantage of here. I'm uh I'm gonna cross down here in a second. I want to get my second mark on the volley bear. I don't think volley bear can fight Teemo since Teemo's level six. So Pantheon's gonna yeah he's mid right now. Uh, he, does he actually see me over here? He's, he was pathing really weird there. I guess I'll just leave. This is kind of sketchy. Nice, well played by the Yone. I still had my R to use, but luckily we didn't have to. It looks like uh, Pantheon just took his blue buff. He didn't actually take my red, so we can path over there into that. As long as you're kiting out your camps, even if you're low on HP, you really shouldn't die from them. We'll push our way into our red buff and then we'll back and get a full collector. It's going to be really, really strong. One of my favorite junglers right now, I'd say probably Garen for my off meta jungler. For my meta junglers, I'd say like Karthus, Evelyn, Nunu. Sack has fallen out of favor with me lately. It's not as strong as it used to be. I'll put my mark on Volley Bear again. He's doing the same shit. He's just kind of up out of position and behind. It's going to be the easiest to exploit. Pantheon red buff is coming up. Oh no, MF's getting run down. I think I'm just gonna go take advantage of Pantheon red buff. You see how it's gray? That means it's 50 seconds or less. So if he's seen bot lane instead of me running bot and fighting a losing battle, instead we can exploit his red buff spawn and then hit top lane as well. It feels bad watching your lanes lose, but it's just one of those things. You have multiple lane or sometimes you gotta Neglect some lanes to get yourself ahead in some other laners. It's just part of the game, unfortunately. If there's three junglers on your team, then it wouldn't have to be like that. But there's only one of you. And then you have four goons on your team. Only Why are my past broadcasts only for subscribers? Mainly because you can get punished based off of your past broadcasts. I've been banned before off of that. So it's just a lot of potential downside with that. Plus, I upload a lot of my broadcast anyways in videos so you're not really missing out too much holy is still hiding under turret this is free i had to tank a little sooner than i would have liked but we got the kill I'm gonna have to pop bar. I'm gonna put my E on him, hit him twice. He's dead. That's the power of Kindred E. You need to make sure your E is actually up though, whenever you're you're going inside of your R. I think Fizz just killed himself. My red buff burns on his head. Yep, got him. Yeah, so. If you already know you're going to lose a fight and you're going to have to use your R, just hold on to your E. You get him as low as you can. You drop your R. You hit him once or twice in your R. You drop your E on them. You hit him twice. You come out of your R and then you just 
execute them. Uh, I might go blah, I don't know. I'm gonna kind of decide who I'm gonna put my mark on here in a second. They are very AD heavy. At the same time. They do have some AP. If they are full AD, you could go for played still caps. If they're full AP, you could go for Merc Treads. Otherwise, Berserker Greaves is going to get pretty solid value. I'm not putting a mark on anyone yet. I don't know if the Fizz Ganks are going to materialize. I didn't have a good idea of where the enemy bot lane was. Damn, MF is getting blasted. Poor guy. Thoughts on Nasus Jungle? I don't think it's very good this season. What do you think of Branson Mirror Bot? I don't know. I haven't really seen that. We do have what, four marks at the very least. A lot of times when you put your mark on an enemy, they immediately panic. So it can be a... Oh, this is warded. Wow. That freaking sucks. They literally knew I was here. Jin's not here to help you, buddy. Yeah, Jin wasn't there for you. Oh, I think Jin's fed, actually. I don't know if I can do this. Ultimate Nautilus. No, Nautilus. No, what happened? <laughs> I didn't even see. I think I stepped on MF's dead body there. Damn. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if Jin kills somebody, they blow up. It's like a delayed three second blow up. I think I stepped on MF's dead body and it killed me. Oh well. We'll be going for probably Gale Force at this point. Stay on top of him, pinch some kills. I think my mark for Volibear is coming back up so I can go get a fifth mark, maybe get Harold while I'm up there. Manning Brand Samira bought with your girlfriend. I'm not 100% sure how Samira works, but I'm pretty sure her knockup works off of other knockups. I don't know if it works off of regular CC. If it does work off of regular CC, you could probably get away with Brand Samira. Otherwise, it, I, I just see her a lot more with knockup champs like Thresh, Blitzcrank, Alistair. Not 100% sure on her though, man. I haven't actually played her before. I've just played against her a lot. I don't think I have to go crack and slayer here. Volibear is pretty far behind. Yeah, there he is. He's over here doing doing volleybear things. Got eliminated. I'm gonna take these camps and then I'm gonna get Harold. Well, I guess there's nothing to really take, so I'll just go grab Harold. The enemies want a base race, so we should be able to win the base race with Harold, and it will force their bot lane to leave bot. Works with all hard CC. Ah, she is definitely a high ban champion in high elo. She had been ever really since her release. Will work with CC, but only knock up when knock up CC. Hmm. Getting some conflicting information here. Chat, you guys gotta get on the same page. Cool, I missed my jump. I missed my little jump over the wall. Little walls are your best friend on Kindred because you can go boop. But if you miss it, then boy, <laughs> you don't want to miss those. I'll go ahead and leave one Raptor. I'm a nice guy. What can I say? Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I should have definitely used my R without a doubt. I just... Thought I'd calculated Jin's damage since he was reloading. He had no damage, but bada boom. He hit me with the Gale Force and I evaporated. His item did 420 damage. Holy moly. Gale Force plus Collector on that one. Seems balanced. I guess that's why I'm building it too.
Yeah, I got bopped there pretty hard. Jin, maybe a little bit more bounce than Kindred, I'm afraid. Jin's almost like an 80 carry on easy mode when you think about his kiting isn't... I guess in some ways it's harder because he has to land certain abilities, but in a lot of ways, since his attack speed's so slow, it's like, how hard can it be? You know what I mean? I had to leave that. Oh, shit. That was going to crunch me. I had to leave that early. If I stayed inside, I was going to get wall up pretty hard there. Like, there's certain parts of on Jin that are definitely hard. It's more about landing his skill shots and actually kiting on him. Because he can only auto attack like once every... Is it like even one second? Is it even a uh, one second attack speed? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's, it's pretty low. Where's he at? Well, I got the Twitch, but Jin got me. That Gale Force is just so annoying, man. I know it's gonna sound super hypocritical since I built Gale Force too, but I don't think Gale Force should be in the game. I think ultimately, if the item is balanced, it's gonna make League of Legends too hard to balance. Because you have champions like Jin, where it's like, okay, they have these strengths and they have these weaknesses, but with Gale Force, all of a sudden those weaknesses evaporate because all of a sudden he's a Lucian now. That's just my thought on it, though. Let me go ahead and buy this. We'll go into our IE. We have Gale Force now, so maybe we can counteract him a little bit. Gale Force is a more of an execute item, and so is the collector. That's a bit of the synergy there. So if you use your Gale Force when they're about half HP, you're really maximizing your damage. If we kill Jin, we win. It's that simple. We just walked past a ward there. Oof. This did not like us being on that, did he? My abilities are on a cooldown. I can't, I can't, dude, where, I couldn't even see that. Did you guys see that? His thing was invisible. That Jin Snare skin is broken. You literally can't even dodge it because you can't see it. Gotcha, bitch. Not even close, dude. Don't make me laugh. No, not the Twitch. Ah! <laughs> not even close, baby. All calculated. Big brain place. Yeah, that Twitch movement speed slow, man. They buffed it. They said... You know what, guys? AD Twitch is too weak. People keep playing him AP. How do we fix it? Let's let's buff the slow on his W. That'll do it. Psych. Yeah, that's not what AD Twitch needed at all. Now, to be fair, they did also buff AD Twitch's R damage, but still. Basically, all the slow did was buff support Twitch even farther because it made his slow more legitimate. <laughs> All right, let's put our mark on Jin. I think we can outplay him with our R once it's back up. We soloed him last time and he's he's way more fed than I am. What ya? Get wrecked, kid. I'm hopping over walls like a talon over here. I still have my Geld Force too. I'm not really that comfortable with the item. It's kind of cheesy to use. That's my excuse. All right, I got, oh God, I also just elbowed my mic, damn. 
After I got bopped, I bopped the chat. Gave him a swift elbow. Freaking Twitch and Jin, man. They did so much damage. You guys didn't hear anything? That's crazy. I bopped it pretty hard. I think it's because I have a... Com I have, like, compression on. So if, it's, if there's a loud peak, it tones it down. What's going on, punk drunkers? All right, we got our IE. Uh, guess we'll pick up some armor. Kind of don't want to buy armors of the thing because they have such a mix of damage. That's the, that's the real conundrum behind that. Oh man, they're so close to Dragon Soul. I don't know if we can win this. Have six marks. Tax buddy, thank you for the tier one sub tax. Tay buddy, thank you for the tier one sub Tay buddy. Welcome to the stream. Big wave. I have to be able to siege in to kill him. If he, if we're just poking in and out of bushes, he wins those. Those kids got wrecked. I'm still not using my Gale Force. I forgot to use it that fight. It can't go over walls, unfortunately. That'd be too OP. It's just a good dash. Kill Jin. Kill him, boys. Gale's Gale Force is balanced. That Jin auto was balanced. <laughs> wow, one Jin auto just did like 900 damage. Yon's there to clean up. Oof. Nice. It's pretty clean. Pretty clean. Yeah, Jin's item setup really hurts. He basically has to hit you with one auto attack and then he gets to press Gale Force and then Gale Force kills you. <laughs> that's really, uh, that's the, the Jin combo. It's auto attack, then he presses his item and then you die. Very impressive. Can we play Vi? Uh, I don't know if she's changed that much. I've already done a couple of videos on her. They haven't been touching her much. She's kind of one of the long lost junglers like Warwick, a relic of the past. You're not surprised that they just released a Jin skin today? Yeah, it kind of makes sense that they did, right? Such a balanced champion. Might as well get some money out of him. I got sharked. Damn, I got a heal. I heal a lot, boy. I don't even have that much life still. I only have 10% life still. I guess it's also the ravenous is healing me crazy hard. I'm about to get my freaking face punched off. Hey, let's go. Oh, why didn't I kill him? That was so bad of me. I was trying to pinch off that last auto, but I kind of panicked. Oh, well, we'll get back to full HP. Healing's pretty high. That's why I like Ravenous on Kindra. Kindred, early game Ravenous isn't that good on her, but as the game kind of prolongs, it's disgustingly strong on her. I gotta tank this. Nautilus is gonna die otherwise. Keep pounding those cues for the attack speed. Me and my homies hate the collector. I'm glad. I don't like... Dude, it's it's honestly just so many of these new items feel like they're not balanced. 
so here I am playing Collector Gale Force Kindred because of that. Easy peasy, baby. Oh shit, what the hell hit me? Dude, what hit me? <laughs> when Jin lands one auto attack. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of damage. I could just like imagine Faker playing Jin, landing an auto attack and someone dying. And the announcer going, Faker, what was that? on that Z out play. That's just how exciting Jin is. When he hits you that auto attack, you know you've been outplayed. I think if Jin's not a noob champ, Gale Force made Jin a noob champ. Cause now even noobs look like freaking I keep a taco on Jin now. It's the classic auto into Gale Force. How do you determine what items you should buy? With big brain plays, dude. You gotta have a big IQ. You gotta have at least three folds in your brain. If you're a total smooth brainer, it's gonna be tough. I was a total smooth brainer once. Now I have three whole folds. It's OP, dude. Cled eats tacos, thanks for the host, man. I don't know if this is worded, it probably is. Oh god. Got you, bitch. Got you, bitch. Wait, well, I didn't get him yet. No, okay. Well, I died, but it was worth. It was a big worth. If I can R and it's gonna bake two mods into the flame. We gotta take those. It's not only a dash, but an execute too. Yeah, oh, exactly. It's just, dude, it's more than that. It's a dash, it's an execute, and it's magic damage. So even though you're an 80 champion like Jin, Yasuo, your mom, it's magic damage. So the enemy stacked armor against you, but guess what? Your super cool dash execute item, it's magic. That way, all the armor they stacked, it doesn't matter. You might as well just make it true damage, like <laughs> for real. <laughs> no one's building armor against Jin just for the friggin' Gale Force. All right, we got Moral Reminder and we can't afford an Elixir, so. It is what it is. I'm level 16 with 19 marks. I mean with nine marks, that's a lot. I have 600 auto attack range. If I can get to 650, then I'll be Caitlyn. I might go for rapid fire cannon, honestly, with what's been going on. Nice, that was huge. I'm gonna push bot, and uh, we should also push mid at the same time. Really, nobody can solo me except for kind of Jin, and Jin can't solo me if I have my R. We're incredibly powerful. Yeah, how do you like a piece of that, buddy? Okay, no, okay, never mind. Oh my god, I thought I could jump in then just jump back out, but we got bopped pretty hard. Jin hit us with the big smack of Rooney there. We got hit by the smacker of a lifetime. Focus Jin, focus Jin. Oh no, dude. The outplays, the standstill Jin auto attacks. We got to put that one on a highlight reel. It was, it was good, good stuff. When Jin turns into the fountain, because his auto attack does like 2,000 damage. <laughs> it's 
shit. How much AD does he? He has nearly nine guys, nearly 980. It's like literally. <laughs> Come on, dude. What is that all about? Nobody can explain GameStop being delisted and no one can explain Jin having 900 AD. What is this madness? He's still beatable if we can focus him. If we can just get on him, he'll die instantly. But we need Nautilus R. Everyone focus Jin. Jin's their whole team, really. If you look at their team, their whole team's not doing very good. Yep. I think that's GG actually. I think we could just dump this in on their head. I'm feeling strong. I kind of want to keep going. Hopefully we don't die to Jin before I can get there. You're dead. Oh, there's Jin. Get him, boys. He's right there. Timo, go, go, go. What are you doing? Nice. Timo with the outplay there. He flashed for it. Very nice. I think we got this one, boys. I don't think we can get to their base in time, so we'll just take Dragon. I think I can solo Jin now. The played still caps, his auto attacks are going to be doing 12% less, 12 less damage, which is a lot of damage. His auto attacks are doing like over a thousand. Some serious damage reduction plus the armor on. It's going to help me out a lot. I'm going to hold on to my E so I can fight somebody. We should really fight why Jin's dead though. Yeah, he's a goner. While Jin's dead, this is where we make our moves. <laughs> Nautilus, he walked right on me. I think that's it. I don't think Jin can defend this. And Timo's beating the tar out of Twitch right now. I don't think I can, I'm going to find Twitch. He got the kill, so he got Q resets. We can do this, guys. We can kill him. Why is Twitch still alive? It's so annoying. Just die already, Twitch. No. Where are they running to? We got to get out of here, dude. This is sketchy as hell. <laughs> this game should have been over. Oh my goodness, it's too hard to end. We're gonna have to wait for our teammates here. Did Jin already take blue buff? Nah, oh, he's in the base. I didn't realize it was just spawning in. I thought it was already gone. Hopefully they step into a little mushroom right here. It'd be perfect. I really doubt this bush is warded. Hey, hey, did I did I tell you guys or did I freaking tell you? I told you I could solo that Ratatouille. Hey, let's go, dude. This kindred build's busted as hell. Give me this Benta. Yeah, buddy. Oh my God, cowards. They surrendered to deny me the Penta. Who does that? That was dirty. That was so cold.